Welcome to the Media Bubble Podcast. I'm Karol, and he's Fredrik, and let's get the show on the road. Yay! <laughs> Hi everyone. In today's episode, uh, our idea was to combine an unlikely franchise with a form of, of, of a video game. Yeah, we're going to try to make kind of a ho- Hyrule Warriors uh, style of video game. Uh, I guess. Ma- make, a ros- we were... make a roster, you can say. Yes, and it doesn't have to be combined with another g- video game series. We already had Hyrule Warriors, two of them, mm-hmm. in fact. Uh, we already had the game itself. Um we already have... Th- there were some other different... Can, can, can like... you make this a spin-off of Super Smash Brothers where we look at the Smash roster and which 15 characters would fit more best into this? The thing is, this the Smash roster would be an interesting idea since each or some of the levels could be themed after individual games or like entries. We haven't actually come up with a team yet. Like some of the things that we have thought about is like uh, Disney, Marvel, um, a- some anime. Hmm. Yeah, in fact, we have a document, a clean document, in front of us, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna roll with it. We'll see where this episode will lead us. <laughs> so I think, I think you made a great. Uh, whoops! I think you made a great uh, first first addition to to our document, which is the 15 places, the 15 characters. But we still need a theme. What game, what game franchise or what franchise can we, can we like combine with a... Do you want to make it a video game franchise? It could be. I I guess you could make Pokemon or I, I guess even the Mario franchise in one way. I mean, Mario has like... Mario already is pretty malleable with everything. Yeah. We already have like a tennis game, a ghost busting game, a party game, a racing game, a like, like, like a... A, it, it probably isn't that interesting to make a Mario roster because it probably is just the regular regular crew. Yeah, exactly. Like it would be Mario, Luigi, Daisy, Peach, Bowser, some Ko- like a Koopa Troopa. Uh, the enemies would probably be like masses of Goombas. of of Goombas, <laughs> um, and the all of the power ups would serve like as cost like and the main gimmick would would be power ups, mm. right? Yeah, probably. Because like in the Persona, uh, what's the name of the game? Not Arena. So Persona oh, Persona Five had a collaboration with the uh, Warriors franchise, right? Yeah, yeah, they did have that though, with Persona Five specifically. Exactly, and it was like a continuation of like what happened after the story, and the main gimmick was personas and abilities. Mm. Um, so I'm thinking, like, this would be the gimmick for the game if it was Mario themed, right? Yeah. Instead of personas, just use abilities and pickups. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure if we can come up with a gimmick in all of these, but yeah. Because we would like, if we were to create an actual video game, you want, we want, we would also like it, like it to stand out from the rest. Yeah, I guess you would. Um, but let's say just let's just write Mario as an idea. Yeah. Then you said I'm a... Smash. Yeah, Smash. Uh, Smash kind of is a spin-off game, but I guess you could technically. What if we made Smash Brothers, but in the Hyrule Warrior style? <laughs> I mean, it could work. <laughs> yeah. Like already the idea of Smash Bros. being this beaten up platformer, it's weird. Yeah. Um, it, it has a kind of big roster enough to to kind of try to make. Hmm. Yeah, it could work. That I, one, one is one of the potential ones. And then... Do, do, think of all the DLC support for this game. <laughs> yeah. Then there's uh, like superheroes, I guess, I guess. Like maybe DC, maybe Marvel. 
It's interesting that we haven't seen a game like this yet. Dude, you, you could actually make it a crossover, I guess, and like DC versus Marvel. DC versus Marvel Warriors. Uh, probably Destiny. not versus, but yeah. <laughs> it could work, but would it be like a... Like, okay, like this, this is workable, this is doable. Because the masses could be either like, I don't know, zombies or... Uh, it could be some goons. It could be, I don't know. It could be like mind controlled enemies or civilian. I mean, I, I, you wouldn't I want would a also, Superman to punch civilians. I would also also find it interesting if you made maybe a spe specific team with X Men. X Men. I'm even not opposed to just doing it like just X Men themed. Yeah. Do you want to do X Men? I mean, I'm gonna put my knowledge about X-Men on blast if I do it, but we could. But I'm not opposed to going for a few more ideas that would fit with the with the with the core of War a warrior game. Yeah, I, I can I kind of thought about Disney animated films and what it kind of may, maybe would be interesting on. Well, what what would you pull pull from? Have you seen the clips circulating online? Because like Disney, they they are pretty like, I won't say they're nilly willy like spreading their copyright, but you already have a, like a racing game, and some people have begun modding Disney princesses into like Mortal Kombat. I'm sure they do. <laughs> it's so funny because it's like, they removed all of the blood, but you can still see the X-rays when like Cinderella, like no, like when Sleeping Beauty is like. Sonic spinning into Cinderella and breaking all of her ribcage. <laughs> yeah. Um. Then. Let's see. Then I, I. We could do some anime also. I'm not. I'm not sure if we. If the. If we we, we are going to make it broad and just make, a, anime as a whole or, oh Tokyo Ghoul. Yeah, that one you could yeah. make. Like, this could, like, in the similar vein to, like, One Piece Warriors game. Tokyo Ghoul, I think, with... It it, it, it would work wonderfully. Just thinking about... Just thinking about, like... I mean, we have police officers, low-level ghouls. Uh, there's a lot of enemies to pull from, from the, like, the, the main organization. Yeah. I, and the gimmick could be... Like feeding. Mm. Maybe you have like a feeding like gauge, and uh, when that loans like loans down, it maybe you don't have access to your abilities. Well, what all, all for for the ghouls? All the enemies are what humans. Yeah. I got I I gotta kill as many as possible to feed. I mean, maybe you could like have a benefit if you were not feeding on them. Like if you're gonna play as. What was the main character's name? Yeah, Ken um, Kaneki. So yeah, so he he is pretty like. Maybe you, maybe you need to find some substitute like sugar cubes or like other confectionery with blood. Mm. Coffee. <laughs> it almost sounds like. Oh my god! What if we did a Tokyo Ghoul Kirby game? <laughs> Tokyo Ghoul Kirby game. <laughs> so yes. so it's a crossover with Tokyo Ghoul and Kirby. Yes. Actually, let's do Dad. let's do that. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it sounds it sounds so wonderfully weird that let's do it. Okay, Tokyo Ghoul Kirby game, and we can find the name. We can pick up the name later. Uh, uh, do um, you mean a, a crossover with Kirby? Then? Yes. So it's like it, it is like a like a crossover game. Who would have ever predicted? And, and the thing is, Kirby has already like pretty insane lore with eldritch demons and world destroying deities. So and and eating and food. So this this works. So right? how would these two worlds combine? <laughs> is it that Kirby is somewhere in space and he for for some re reason he just comes into uh, to Tokyo? <laughs> <laughs> this sounds so funny. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so option one, 
Kirby just arrives in Tokyo. Yeah, it, but, but because you somehow have to pull, pull these two worlds together. And I guess, I guess we can make it kind of an interrupt. There comes some kind of a enemy into Kirby, Kirby's world. He's kind of pow, powerful and it kind of ma makes... Uh, I, I, I'm not exactly sure how, but it, I guess K Kirby escapes and while escaping he... I guess crash lands because that's a kind of story trope and it crashes into planet earth. Kirby escapes and arrives in Tokyo. I mean, so do we do so how do we do this? Do we do we just plunk Kirby right into the plot of the like first arc? Yeah, sure. <laughs> 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 okay, so when so so it so when when do we so is Kirby just like when what during when do we plop plop down Kirby into Tokyo Ghoul? Is it like when can this like just becomes a goal or I think like when it just becomes a goal, right? I I probably would have want Ken to already be a Google or he has been it for he's kind of still new at it but he's he has already become a ghoul but he's kind of new at it I guess but it's new to him okay and I think um uh okay so <laughs> it oh, like okay so it's it's a game right the game yeah okay I, I guess uh, some of the first well, so what are the enemies? Are are they are we going? It would be doves, right? Right? Or do we have? Yeah, doves. Or when Kirby arrives, I in guess we Tokyo, can also make the clowns. Doves slash clown, yeah, clowns and clowns. I mean, Kirby has already thing against clowns, right? I see. What's the what's the enemy in Kirby that's a clown? A clown, let's see. He has this little, weird little, like, two twin tail hat. Okay. Oh, uh, now I remember. Um, yeah, what is he called? Let me look it up. This episode is gonna be full of me googling stuff. Clown, enemy, Kirby. Uh, Marks, right? Should we make him a play playable character? I was thinking he would be the main villain. Oh, main villain? Marx is also here. I'll write for now. Because I'm thinking. This I'm not little sure about Goober. main villain, but uh, maybe a sub villain. He he is a villain, not the main villain. Hmm, kind of. This is some gold we're writing down. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, like I'm kind of starting to wonder how. Well, how long are it, how long is Kirby going to be in like the Tokyo Ghoul world before we are bringing in more of the Kirby elements? Like, do do you want Kirby to just be in the Tokyo Ghoul world for a little while? I think you just I think you just had a great idea, Frederick. So because Marx can like use magic, he's like, what is he? What what are his mo powers? And um, because my idea was with this being Ken Kaneki's like this is to this is Tokyo Ghoul, but with time it becomes more and more Kirby. Hmm. I guess I guess more of the Kirby elements can come come in. Like uh, maybe this thing that attacked Kirby's planet, like he sends warriors eventually to this planet, which or or Tokyo, which Kirby has to. A fight and eventually maybe uh, Kirby with his new Tokyo Ghoul friends travel travel space to to space and <laughs> or attacking this main <laughs> enemy's whole ba base. <laughs> the, okay. The, the, so these the two world... these two franchises. <laughs> the world is becoming more Kirby. Mm. And, and I wanted to involve Marx because he has this his form with his wings, right? Yeah. And it kind of looks like a kinky. Okay. More curvy. So the gang is trying to, and I think, I mean, 
Jag kan vara två och en så. If we are in Tokyo Ghoul, to Ken Kaneki has just become a go- ghoul. Um, what what or oh, what is kind of the story in the beginning is? Uh, yeah, Kirby f- finds Ken Kaneki, I guess, and how will the story continue from from there? I think the funniest way would be if it just threw a wrench into the story, right? Yeah. Like, like we we are going to have to uh, change a bit of when things are taking place in Tokyo Ghoul. I think with Kirby arriving, I think that maybe the doves think this is some type of a new beast. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, the, they can chase him. Uh, like Kirby, some kind of new mutation of the ghoul. Them. Yeah, because he because he eats everything, right? Mm. Yeah, Kirby is known for eating. But okay, um... so, so Kirby is being <laughs> being chased by the doves, and uh, I guess he meets uh, uh, Ken Kaneki in while while he's trying to escape. Yeah, so he crash lands. The doves are investigating the crime. Okay, Kirby, uh, I have bulleted list list. Kirby crash uh, escapes and arrives in Tokyo. Then he crashes and is chased by Dobbs. Ken is already a, a goal, but it's new to him. Uh, Kirby meets Ken. The two become pals. I, I guess we're going to going through with this a bit of the Tokyo Ghoul story for a while. It's kind of just small segments of these. Uh, Empire enemies coming into to- Tokyo a little bit here and there, or Kirby enemies for that matter. I mean, this would also imply. <laughs> I'm just thinking, if there's more enemies like Kirby enemies, the doves would like. We're, we're approaching territory where it's gonna be like, yeah, they're gonna try to dissect the Kirby enemies, right? It can be a war. war. Like in in the middle of the game, we have the war between doves, ghouls, and the Kirby enemies. Doves <laughs> uh, and clowns. Marx is also here. Marx is one of the villains. Do you want to do the whole Tokyo Ghoul storyline, or do you want to do? Uh... I think I, at least the first arc, right? Yeah, but when when does the first arc exactly end? It's when we think Ken Kaneki is dead. Oh, uh, do we want oh the Tokyo Ghoul story arc and so so we're not, we're we, not, just we're not doing re. Yeah. Yeah, I I guess you could. I guess if you wanted to do a sequel to this crossover, then you might <laughs> w- would be able to do re. <laughs> Tokyo Ghoul slash Kirby Kirby re. <laughs> It sounds so bad. Okay, so we have kind of a... So I, I, guess, I guess we're going through, through the Tokyo Ghoul uh, st- first story arc of, of it with Kirby elements spliced a little bit here and there until the end where Kirby takes his new found friends uh, to space and... <laughs> it has to end up. I need to write it. It has to end up in space. You're right. You're so right. To 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 battle this uh, new kind of type of eni- enemy that is conquering Kirby's planet, and maybe he's a bigger threat even than that. Maybe he's a conqueror of of, of uh, multiple planets. What's the doctor's name? The the evil one. The evil guy. In Tokyo Ghoul. Yes. Uh, this kind of well, they're all s- the one. Ha ha ha! I'm so like the, the guy who just wanted to like torture ghouls. The one that made Ken Kaneki a ghoul. No, the the one that that had like kinkies for the little girl parents. Well, uh, he wasn't really a doctor, was he? He was more an agent. <laughs> my my my! I have a suggestion. What? Um, the thing is. But that's re-material. That's that's going too far. What if Kanu meet Marx and they 
like hues. But uh, we don't even have to take, use canoe. We can use the mentor for. We, c we could maybe mm. use the one I ghoul because that one appears by the end of the first arc. Because the one I ghoul is kind of like in the ending of the Tokyo Gould. Mado. What did you say? Mado Kureo. I is that his name? Yeah, that's the that's the white haired like freak mm. in the beginning. How do we? And I was thinking. How do we make Kirby's copy abilities? Uh... Ah, that's true. Because the plot is fun, but how do we translate this into gameplay? Oh my god, Kirby can, uh, as, in, as in the Smash game, he uh, copy one, one of the ghouls and he becomes Kirby Ghoul. Kirby Ghoul? I'll write Kirby Ghoul. <laughs> mm. Okay, so so does he copy the, the, the abilities of his friends? So like, can... What are the... Um... What are the other... I, I read Tokyo Ghoul so long ago, I forgot all the names. I'm such a fake fan. Well, if we're going to talk about the... I guess we can start to think about the roster now. The obvious one... The obvious first one would be Kirby. That is... Yes. I mean, we can't have Kirby game without Kirby. Yeah, and then it would be, I guess, Ken Kaneki. Yes. But I think... I think the style sh the style of the game should be chibi. What if Kaneki? Kane Kaneki. I think the style should be chibi so we can make so it's all cute, right? Because I'm uh, or maybe I'm I'm just thinking maybe I'm going ahead a little bit because like uh, well, I don't art we, we can we can we can yeah, like art direction, like do we make it cute? Like, do we make everyone curvy? Or should we have, like, chibi? Or should this be realistic, like, Smash Bros? Well, I... I would not say you'd make it realistic. Like, maybe maybe kind of like the Smash Bros. style. Okay, so it's, like, semi-realistic. Yeah. Okay, so Ken Kaneki. Uh, we, I think... Well, if we are going to talk about... Um... Tokyo Ghoul characters, then Toka is one an obvious one, I feel like, also. Mm -hmm. But that will kind of just make sense in both story perspective of Tokyo Ghoul and, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um... Then, uh, I, guess, I guess some of the Dove a agents, like the, the two that you just mentioned, he... Him and his partner, maybe. Amon. Exactly. Amon should be playable since he's like do you, do you try? He's like the, the second protagonist later on. Yeah, I, I I kind of feel like his importance becomes a li little bit lesser in Tokyo Ghoul Re, but he 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 has a purpose in the first arc of the story. I feel like. I would say Suzuya. Who is Susuya now? Uh, the blonde one that likes uh, to like uh, needles and th and and threads in his skin. Or Yuzu. Yuzu Rei, Jason Suzuya. Oh, not him. Yeah, he prob he probably is too big of a character to let go. Actually. Yeah, because like we still have to hook up the players like to play with their faves. Mm. Yeah, like, like you still kind of want like I guess the kind of all star ro roster that you can get with these. Yeah, because like it it's 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 a it's a collaboration game. Like it's it's I think the whole deal is that it's like what if Kirby ended up in Tokyo Ghoul and how it would change the story. Yeah, how it would affect. So we need we we need the all star cast. I almost want to do Risei as a secret character when you 100% the game yeah you could uh, probably do something like that like just just for 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 the fun of it <laughs> um if we are going to talk about some kirby characters to put in yes like the the obvious 
I guess the three most obvious ones to begin with would be Meta Knight, King DDD, and uh, Bandana Waddle D. <laughs> yes. How exactly they uh, inter, uh, interwind in the story is. I hmm. think. Oh my god. So what What if Ken has Kirby, but. Uh, but Toka has. Uh, but Amon has Meta Knight. Well, what we're making this so that the, each of the Kirby characters is teaming up with one of the. Yes! Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so we they're could. like partner styles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, so after um, uh, Amon's partner dies, he gets Meta Knight <laughs> instead as our replacement. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I mean, because he hates Kirby, and Kirby won't talk, but Meta Knight can. They can like communicate. Oh, I'm here to send to to get rid of the enemy, but like. Right, to rein in Kirby. Kirby games also have some kind of thing where also now that King Diddy is not really a villain anymore, but he still has have a lot of boss battles with him because he is somehow always get kind of like captured by the enemy and manipulated to be a boss fight again. Yeah, like he's a he's 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 I'm, he's gonna be like one of the boss fights, right? Yeah, probably. Like we can totally set up a partner for him to be in a boss fight. How many times can he? Hmm, a partner with King DDD, and we 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 maybe we can't use the clowns right now. Like the clowns are kind of like part two. I think. I mean, this is this is uh, like a. Like a like a what if scenario, right? Mm. Also, like I think if the clowns were to become like a threat, like but okay, let's see. The clowns got their hands on Marx. Marx is like an agent of chaos. He can basically do anything. So we can see that maybe their plan to kill everyone accelerates, right? Yeah. That... And that's why how Ken and Amon can be brought like brought in a little bit faster, right? Yeah. But what will we do in the sequel then, Carol? I have no idea. <laughs> Look, we still have to sell the first game before we start start to plan the sequel. If we start cutting content, I think uh, if we start cutting content for the first game, the second game is not going to happen. It was. Uh... Uh, let, let's try to make this uh, more of an all star kind of thing. Yeah. It was yeah. I, as I as I said before, we should only we should only like be two. Like we should only keep two. The first arc, but nah, let's just go all out. So uh, do you want to do? Uh, so some of the if we're going to do a true all stars, then with Tokyo Ghoul, then what was the main kind of enemy clown's name? Oh God, I'm help me Google. I I I googled Google clown name. <laughs> Uh, Tokyo Ghoul. Oh, is this uh, is this him, Ki Ki Kishimura Wasu? Yeah. And then uh, we also have, uh, I guess, uh, Ken Kaneki's mentor for a time, um, Kiso Ar Arima, which is kind of like, I guess, a cool character. And then we also have Et. Eto Yoshimura, the one-eyed ghoul, ghoul. What's the... oh god. The pretty boy, the connoisseur. The, like, the food reviewer that tried to eat Kaneki. Mm. The one who was like, I cannot live without him. My life meaning has escaped me. <laughs> oh, are we thinking of the same one? I have no idea. I don't think we do. Because I I was thinking of uh, uh, Ken's uh, schoolmate. Oh yeah, him. Are you thinking of uh, the one that likes uh, smelling Ken Kaneki's blood? Yes. Ah, him. The one who lured Ken to the like restaurant show. Uh, just just for one quick question. Um. Do you, do you want to put in a 
Arime Wasu and Etto. Oh god, Etto. She's the one-eyed ghoul. Or one-eyed king. I mean, if the shit was going down... Like, sure, right? As you kind of said, all star roster. But do we want to make him playable, or do we want to make them... An enemy? I, I guess a playable character at the end, right? Yeah, they... Yeah, it, it kind of can be like you said about Risa, where... You... Kind of like an unlockable at the end. Because Risa is supposed to be like after the game, but I think like, like, like because as we said, shit is going down. The clans has gotten their hands on marks and they're like accelerating everything. Mm. Because if I remember, their deal was just to to cause chaos, right? Yeah, kind of like. And but the one-eyed king wanted to, to create peace between between. Uh, between humans and... Uh, no, what was her deal? She wanted to make a ghoul revolution. Yeah, kind of like... Uh, she. I guess she wanted to take uh, Ken Kanek and make him kind of like a peace dealer for the world. Yeah. So, just by the clowns having marks, it kind of makes the enemy of my enemy... My enemy is my friend. It It's kind of forced driving everyone to like... Holy shit, we need to stop them. Okay, so we have a lot, so let's see, we have 11 characters kind of planned for, for now, and four of them are Kirby, the rest are from Tokyo Ghoul, so I guess we need some more Kirby reps. What's the, what's the Judas name, the, from Dreamland? Do you want to take him into this? Kinda, I'm trying to, this is so, such a, it's such a heavy googling episode. Magalore. I don't. I just like the dude. But it's. Will he fit? Maybe. That depends on how we pull him into the story. Uh, do 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 you want to make him the thing that attacks Dreamland? But he kind of like like he he had a like an arc right where he stopped being evil. Yeah, there was there was some kind of uh, thing in the the, the release for uh, uh, Switch version where he had a kind of segment. I'm not sure how that segment ended when I think about it. Yeah, so in the Switch version of the Return to Dreamland, he had like a redemption arc, redemption epilogue. Well, I guess we can take from that redemption epilogue and uh, kind of pull him into the story, I guess. I'm already regretting it. Like, what would his, would his deal be? Well, w wouldn't it be, be interesting as a playable character, I guess? Mm. But what, what what's your opinion? Who should we also pull from the Kirby reps? Uh, let's see, what does Kirby have for... Hmm... There... Wh when, I'm in, when I'm in this wiki and looking at Kirby characters, I was approached by some character called... Uh, Daruch, which seems to be a kind of a mouse with a red top hat and the claw. It could work. Let's see. So something that I wonder with Megalore and Daru Daruch is that they might also be good characters in the way of making them feel um, the distinguished from the rest of the Kirby characters or unique. Um, sure. I I think that's all right. Okay, I'm I'm Kirby, Kirby, Vicky Kirby. Please help me, characters. Like I'm not sure exactly what else you or how much else you can pull from Kirby with without being regular enemies. Maybe that one you talked about earlier. Uh, what was his name? The one with magic Magal marks. Marks, yeah. Because I think he fits. He's he's crazy enough, and he has like the the wings that kind of remind you of a kinky. Is is marks and kind of isn't there like a regular enemy of him? 
even though I don't know actually. Hmm. Yeah, I think Marx is kind of just a regional enemy with kind of like that. Or, and he has kind of a boss battle form with he gets the wings. Because I'm thinking we can also or please a like, true, like a... Or a true form, apparently. Because I'm thinking we all can also create like a like an OC. Why not? Like a lot of the games introduce new characters. It's not only only established uh, established goobers, right? I don't know that uh, what is it called Knuckle Joe is uh, sometimes a uh, uh, so choice for Kirby rips. Knuckle Joe. Who is Knuckle Joe? He's kind of he a, he's like kind Kirby. of also a regular regular kind of enemy. Sure, why not? Well, we can we kind of have to plan a little bit here. We <laughs> have four spots left. If we extend his bandana, we can make it into an into a go mask. <laughs> well, uh, that's kind of meta nights things. True. Mm. So, okay, but I think I think we have we can still think of many more reps. Um, but I'm thinking we still need kind of like a few bosses. What's the general? It, is is this a side scroller? Like what? What is the genre of this game? How would this play? Well, I'm 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 thinking as we said before about the kind of the Hyrule Warrior style, where it's kind of like a a bit of a 3D open landscape, and there coming enemies. Uh, or lots of enemies and you have these characters with these different abilities that are fighting them. Okay, so it is a, it's a, it is a hard, high rule, high, so it's a triple crossover. Yeah, kind of in the style of gameplay, I guess. So we have stages where we, where it's Kirby's Dreamland or Kirby's, Kirby's World, or is it only Tokyo? No, I'm thinking that we we might have a Kirby world right in the beginning and getting more into the space at the end, I guess. Because I'm thinking we have Kirby world, Tokyo, and then we have these two merging. So it's like Tokyo, it's like Kirby fight Tokyo with lots of like soft colors, uh, pastels, uh, bright colors. Mm. Because like for the clowns, that would make just more... More chaos, right? The clowns getting into Kirby's world. Exactly. Like for them, it's like, hey, a brand new world. Let's destroy it as well. Let's create chaos here too. Because the story would be, Marx finds the clowns. He's like, wow, fellow clowns. Clown to meet you. <laughs> you have cool weapons? I have a cool weapon. And uh, he goes to Tokyo, starts messing, messing shit up. The Kirby tries to follow after him, and he just gets into clash with Ken Kaneki. Yeah, I still, I still like the thing what, that we had before with uh, someone coming and attacking Kirby's world, and Kirby kind of escapes. Now, now, but who now would you... be the one destroying the world? Yeah, the, some some other kind of powerful space enemy, like maybe an original character for this game. So OC starts messing up. Kirby's world. Yeah, it's kind of attacking it, Kirby escapes, and Kirby, while escaping, I guess, kind of crash lands into Earth. Can this OC be created by Mondo? Because it still needs to have connect. it still needs to have a connection to, to Tokyo Ghoul. Well, then I'm kind of thinking that we are going to through the Tokyo Ghoul story and as the longer we go, the more Kirby influence the Tokyo Ghoul world is getting. Ah, okay. So it's, I get it. So it's not, because my, my idea was something from the, that world came to Kirby's world. But now you mean that it's some kind of like entity that's starting, that's starting to merge the world together by, and messing it up. No, not really. Like, like, think about we are on planet Earth. Kirby's planet is somewhere in space. Kirby planet gets attacked. Kirby escapes, and while he escapes, he crash lands on Earth. The story of Tokyo Ghoul ta takes place with Kirby in it, and the more time, the more time, 
uh, that that goes the 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 one that attack Kirby's wo- world is coming closer and closer to Earth, so you see more of the Kirby things come to the Do- Tokyo Ghoul planet with Meta Knight uh, at some time uh, coming and they're coming more space uh, vi- vi- villains and attacking and things like that until until the moment when they are when the kind of Tokyo Ghoul wo- world uh, story arc is uh, somewhat of completed and Kirby takes his new type of friends and goes uh, in, into space to fully attack uh, uh, with his new friends and um, this kind of space emperor. Okay, okay, because I wanted more info about our OC villain, so space emperor entity. That's kind of what I thought. Yeah, I don't know what what you you feel. Do you want to do? No, do you I want think to... it's great. I, I think it it. I think we should follow this, Fred. Do you want to literally mash the two worlds together, like, like what what if Kirby, Kirby characters just live in ordinary Tokyo? What if what if they all all always have done that, like just one planet <laughs> together? Wait, so you mean we're gonna just like Tokyo Ghoul but but actually Kirby, just everything is the same style. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of, kind of, I, I, I wouldn't say that we go for it, but I just kinda of kind of came up with like like what what if Kirby characters and his cast and crew just are always kind of lived on Earth. I don't literally like that idea. No, I wouldn't I... say that we go through with it, but I, it was just an idea. One, one no, thing. no, I'm, I'm, because I'm. Thi- it's it's good to do to throw out ideas because we're just like, this is just like blue skying. This is we're just trying to like come up with ideas, but I say. It wouldn't be like if so. How would this look like? So we have. Well, I wouldn't say that we go through with it. No, no, I I, I agree. I'm just like trying to like how how. Well, would think this kind work? of like Pokemon, where it, it, that kind of took. Than the no, the normal human world, and kind of put, put put in this element of these monster creatures that lived in it. Uh, but now we're putting. I don't think. Mm. Okay, I see what you mean. But I still would not like to go for it. No, I wouldn't say that we go for it. Uh, I'm also thinking. Uh, because we're we're we are talking about it for quite a while. I think we should at least come up with some bosses. Uh, I think uh, I think I like your idea with Space Emperor Entity messing up with Kirby's world. He ends up in Tokyo, and then this Emperor follows Kirby to Tokyo. Um, I think we need some bosses, and I think we need some like what makes this game fun. Yeah, I'm. I'm... I'm 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 wondering. I'm not sure if we have time to discuss bosses, Carol. But yeah. uh, may, maybe some gameplay elements in it. At least, but at least with bosses, let's say clowns. Yeah, clowns. Let's the, say the doves, I guess. Doves, at least in the beginning. Let's say Kirby animals. Yeah, yeah. So, so there are some enemies in Kirby that like re reap. Pierce, like, well, we could do marks as one bo- boss battle. We should. And and of course the Space Emperor OC. Uh, like, there, there's also one tree that is always kind of a boss battle in Kirby games. God, we can do this. Mm. Well, I, I'm not gonna say the tree, but I'm gonna be tree inspired fight. Okay, so gameplay elements. Um, my idea uh, was we have the. Um, my idea was we have the uh, the cast either fuse with Kirby, <laughs> the Tokyo Ghoul cast, but maybe that won't be fun. Or maybe they have like they are paired up like like in uh, like in tree houses, right? So they can switch in. Like, 
like every character in uh, this kind of type of fighting game is go going to be feeling unique but it's kind of like paired up yeah i guess i guess that could be one thing that you could do play with the mechanic of having two characters be be close to each other exactly well, what did what did you say that you about the f a feeding mechanic in the beginning? So I was thinking about how because ghouls they they exhaust themselves during the fight, and Kirby also has the theme of eating. So what if during the fight you have to keep up your gauge of like fullness or like be or, or eating? Yeah, that could be something, I guess. I'm not exactly sure how fun, fun that is, but... So maybe through using, like, specific attacks? Or maybe, like... Like, because then then you have to, like, you could juggle this gauge between two characters. So let, let's say if you fill, fill up a meter, a meter, would you be able to, like, do a kind of special big attack then? Yes. Okay, yeah. But I think it's pretty standard, right, mm. with with the Warrior games. Okay, so let's see. Kirby and Ken Kaneki as a pair, Meta Knight and Amon as a pair. <laughs> <laughs> I, gu I guess uh, I guess we g also gotta fill fill up these uh, four roster spots that's all left. Like, uh, should we say Megalore? Like, I still feel. I think. What? Oh, I mean, yeah, I think Toka should have either Bandana Day or some kind of like... Uh, then we have... Uh, let's and see, Mark. There's... Then we have Knuckle Yu and we have Daruch. Because it's it's almost in a way kind of like Digimon. And I think a lot of the enemies are so cute and could be really fun to have like as a pair. So I'm looking for like enemies on the website. And we have... There is a... Mummy enemy, Mom called Mumbies. It's a floating ball wrapped in bandages with a single eye peering through. <laughs> but that's like it's so Tokyo Ghoul coded. Mm. So if we're going to, so these are going to always have the same fighting partner, right? Yes. Okay. Then we have uh, then the obvious one is uh, would be uh, Kirby and Ken Kaneki with each other. And then we have, uh, we have, we have, the problem is we have probably have more Tokyo Ghoul characters right now. Yeah, I think what, if it would not be for time, I would look at just the Kirby enemy, li enemy list and maybe figure out some good companions for every single Tokyo Ghoul character. Let's see. But as I said, we're kind of pressed for time since we're already running around the 50 minute mark on this one thing that i am a bit surprised about this when i thought of this idea i thought we would be more discussing the ro roster of the characters we have more <laughs> created a t topic of a whole game yeah uh, but i think it's fun like my, since yeah it, it it is fun and it was interesting in how we we went here but my original idea was that we would take a team and discussing the roster. <laughs> but, well, I mean, uh, uh, and we're uh, also uh, trying to give this game an identity besides being a Warriors game. Yeah, it's it it, it is kind of interesting on in how it developed. Like, well, for for one one hour ago, I probably never would have thought that we would be <laughs> crossovering Tokyo Ghoul and Kirby. <laughs> But yeah, but like, but they have this this theme about feeding, and I think it would kind of work, honestly. <laughs> so I I added um, into the roster Magalor, Daruch, and Knuckle Yo as kind of like Kirby representatives. I guess we could we have a fifth in place. I guess we could do Reese as you kind of mentioned in the beginning. Exactly, because like, wait, my cat, my cat. Do you want the Josephine to have the last playable spot? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just trying to let her in. One moment. But I think, I mean, 
for me, I just like I just liked her character, and there is like I don't think it's in any way like before before Tokyo Ghoul is like since Ken is already a goal, we know that Teresa is dead, right? Yeah. So it would not make sense for her to be playable during the main story unless we have some time shenanigans. Yeah, maybe maybe we can do something with the Emperor re re waking in her. Don't you mean re uh, semicolon awakening her? Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I think it 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 it. it I think she at least should be playable in some degree. So actually, when I'm when I'm when I'm looking at it, we have seven Kirby characters and we have a a Tokyo Ghoul. If we if we do do one, one thing, well, let's take Risa out of the qu question. Like she can be some kind of uh, un unique character in like like the like the end She's of a secret the game. Character. So, so then we would have an even number of Kirby and um, Kirby characters and Tokyo Ghoul characters that we, I guess, we could technically pair them up with each other. Yeah. Maybe, maybe Risha could could be a final partner. Could be like that space emperor. There is already a uh, an enemy in the game called. Let me see. Because the enemy, the enemy list of, of Kirby games is so long, so there's like so many choices for each character to be paired up with. But I think if we're gonna go space theme, there is already like an enemy that's a spaceship. I yeah, there, there's a lot of space uh, enemies in Kirby games, but I, I kind of just want, want to have an original villain for the Kirby team because that is kind of what Kirby do, does. He kind of introduces a new villain for every game. Yeah, so I think you're correct. She should have some theme, like emperor themed OC pair, pair up. Mm. But I think we can. I don't. I don't know if we will turn to this. I uh, maybe we can like, just. I, I think I. I had fun. We'll see if we come back to this. Uh, but I think we're we we're we're ready to to say goodbye to everyone for today. Uh, should we make it an empress or an emperor? We can do an empress. Yeah, I, I thought that that would may, maybe be a bit more fun. So then we have 16 characters. We have, uh, I guess, 8 Kirby characters and 8 Tokyo Ghoul characters. So you could pair them up. Yeah, so we have Kirby, Ken, Toka, Amon, Rei, Meta Knight, King Dedede, Bandana D. Arima, Washu, Eto, Magalor, Dar Dar Daroch, Nakujo, and then Riza and Space Empress OC. And on this will be a and a lot of Tokyo all Ghoul. other elements. Yes, this will be a Tokyo Ghouls X Curvy X Warriors game. The unique mechanic will be teaming up and or feed gauge or meter, mm. where you have to. Keep the both of your characters full, and while full, you'll have more power ups and more power. Um, the story will be how Kirby escapes his world that is under attack and lands in Tokyo, as Ken Kaneki is being like he's acclimating to being a goal. Uh, because of this, um, Meta Knight crashes with the doves, and the two duke it out in. Hyrule fashion war warrior battles, but because Magalore is also involved in this, the clowns ramp up the conflict, which turns out, which which makes the two come together, as well as well as the one-eyed king, <laughs> one-eyed go, <goal. laughs> and it all ends up in space, which is pretty fashionable for the Kirby game. Mm. Any ideas for the game for the name? Kirby Re. Kirby Re. Kirby Re. Kirby Re. What? What we need like a tagline too. Kirby Re. Uh, feast for a goal. Yeah. Feast. Sure. Feast for a goal. <laughs> Warriors. <laughs> 
<laughs> Kirby Warriors 3 Historical. Oh my god, I have to make some visuals for this now. <laughs> Uh, what are the slides oh. going to look like? I love this. I love this so much. I would like to play it. <laughs> it was really fun and unique idea, I gotta say. But, listeners, if tell us in the comments below, what do you think of our ideas? Would you play this? Would you give this a chance? Any characters we missed? Any plot points we should make? <laughs> Uh, drop it out in the drop it in the description below. But as always, thank you all for listening to this episode of the Media Bubble Podcast. Hit that subscribe button of passion, uh, and big thanks to Jahazar for intro and outro comedy. And as always, have a wonderful day.